Nice. So Talkman? Good. We're going to move on for this evening session into some setups from a collar tie on our feet. So we're going to work one setup, one tie, and probably four different takedowns depending on what we have time for. Okay? Good news with this. Good news with this setup, it's really easy. It's super easy. It shouldn't work as well as it does, but it works really, really well. Okay? So come on, Everett. We'll go through this together. We're already started. Alright, so we'll work through this series, collar tie. A couple things I want to make clear before we get started. Is when you get a collar tie, you're positioned there. Okay? So when I collar tie, a couple of really important things. My elbow is down. My forehead goes to my wristwatch. Alright, so everyone go ahead and do that right now. Now put your forehead on your wrist. You can see, look to your left and right. See how ridiculous they look? That's how ridiculous you look. Hey, just, elbow down. Just doing this. All right? But it's going to work really well, so it's worth it, right? So, elbow down, head to the wristwatch. Okay? When I go make contact for my collar time, it's important and my head is low. If not, if I'm going here, I'm open, right? Obviously, we don't want to do that, so I keep my head low. I move into a collar tie, I go collar tie, my other hand, I like the wrist or post on the elbow. We'll show you what that looks like. Last thing I'll say before I do it is when I go to a collar tie here, I make him move his feet. So I don't just go here. When I collar tie, I go here. Make him move. Okay, that's what you want. You want them to have to move their feet. So I go collar tie, elbow down, and I work to get my head over on my forearm. Here. That's where I want to be. Collar tie, then I move my head over here. This hand, I like to go to the wrist or block at the elbow right here. Okay? From there, I'm going to push two steps and then pull. So I'm here, I'm driving with my legs and driving with my forearm, and I'm going to push two steps and then a pull. One, two, pull. Push. One, two, pull. One, two, pull. Here's the deal. I don't want to push the guy all over the mat with this because I'm not going to score if I just keep pushing him around. And he doesn't get as tired. What wears him out is when I push, this is what wears him out, that pull. And I push and he starts pressuring back into me and I pull and that's what wears on him over the course of the match. So for about the first two minutes, we're going to go with our partner and that's all we're going to work. It's going to my collar tie. I make him move his feet when I collar tie here. Work my head to my forearm, push. One, two, pull. One, two, pull. Where's my head go? Yeah, wrist wash, that's right. Yeah. Your trail leg arm is what you're gonna collar tie with, by the way. I'm not collar tying with my lead leg arm here, I'm collar tie with my trail leg arm. You got it? What questions do we have over this? You know, questions is pretty simple, kind of cut and dry, right? Now, once we get this down for a couple minutes, we'll move on to some shots from this position, okay? All right, let's go work. One, two. You're here. And I told the group earlier, you don't want it to be easy, do you? If it was easy, everyone will be going where you're going. And then who are you going to pin, right? We need those people who don't want to get better. They make us feel better about ourselves. We want to have somebody to pin, right? So take pride in the fact that learning is hard. Some of this stuff may be tricky, but I promise you, you're going to get it, okay? When we push and pull, the first reaction we're looking for, we're going to cover a couple reactions. Well, what if they do this? What if they do that? first one we're going to go is the most common, where they come to my neck. I go to his neck and pull. It makes him want to reach. He goes to my neck there. There's where we're going to hit our first shot from. High crotch or a knee pull. It really depends on his reaction, okay? When I push... Cool. Get him to react. I'm gonna squat, level change. So I drop, level change here. From here, I'm gonna lift my elbow, rotate my shoulders. Lift my elbow, and I really turn my shoulders here. So lift, turn my shoulders, and I'm gonna attack as I drive my knee forward, right behind the guy's knee. That's all I need. The knee. I'm not reaching here. I'm not going up here, I'm not going down on the leg. I'm trying to make this shot as quickly, as quick as I can. The faster your hands get to the leg, 
the quicker your shot. So just get your hand right behind his knee. He sprawls, I can pull myself into a single leg or into a high crotch. If he doesn't sprawl, even better. So again, really easy. I go, I get my control, push, pull. I got the reaction I want. He came over top. Level change, lift my elbow and turn my shoulders. Attack right behind the knee. Let go of the head. Into good high crotch position. Running through him. Alright, Cody going out with Logan. Watch Logan hit a couple of these, go slow. He gets collar time. They come over top, level change. Attack, just grab behind the knee. Just grab behind the knee. Pushes, pulls, gets the reaction he wants, elbow goes up. Open with, to say open the window there. Elbow comes up. Attack right behind the knee. That elbow coming up is what keeps him from being able to catch your arm. Elbow goes up, got it. It's, it's crazy how easy this works. It should not work as well as it does in college, but it works all the time. All right, all the time. A couple more. Watch if he gets taller time. There it is, got it. One more. Watch this is going here. Got it. Get ready to finish. When you're on the legs, I want you to finish in every single rep. Whether it's a good shot or a bad shot, go finish every single one. Now what questions do we have over this technique? Any areas that you guys want to see explained a little bit more? Again, where does my forehead go? Wrist watch, really important. That's going to help you a lot. Okay, let's go take them down. One, two. Somebody's got it. I'm there right here. Come on out. You're next. Next. I would want to show it too if I could do it that way. Do it again. No, 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 no. Great. I want you to make him over time. Don't just start there. Go get your collar tie, make him make him over time. Cool. There you go. Now you got it. That's it. Really good. There you go. See the difference? We all understand the difference and how you can learn and get better there. It's too easy to do this. Let's start here. If I really want to learn and get better, I'm going to make him reach. So I have to work that level change. Make them reach, so I have to work on pulling. You have to work on everything there. Okay, now your partner gets to go. You volunteer for the pro Get your collar tied. There you got it. You got it. There you go. Give these guys a hand. Not, not multiple hands. Go in one clap. Alright, where's the next group? Come on out. Work into your collar tie. Pull, pull, pull. There you go. Good. Good. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay, he dropped. He kind of went to a post a little bit. You don't have to do that. Stay on the neck. So when he overties me, even though you're coach, and I'm guilty of this, maybe saying you got it, you got it, sometimes you gotta get one more pull in for it to feel like you know you have it. So you just get the pull and set your feet where you know you need to be, and then you got it. But this hand doesn't leave the head until I bump the elbow up. I bump the elbow up, hand comes off the head. Then you can get to your shot. Go one more time. There it is. Great. Great job. Give him a hand. Really good work. So we're going to show a couple of what ifs. Tony, come out with, with Logan. Go slow here. So Logan goes, boom. Now Cody overties. And now what if Cody is really squeezing hard in their ear-to-ear -ear position? Logan's trying to get to this shot, but there's just not enough room. Cody's squeezing in too tight. He's trying to get to the shot, and he feels stuffed there. Right? Now what do you got to do to create some space to be able to score? Any ideas? What's that? Push, pull, like just create space. Push, pull, create space. Any other ideas? What's that? Move him around. Fake a shot. Post the other side. Yeah, yeah. I love the direction we're headed with these answers. Alright? And you're all right. Now there's one really easy. You almost nailed it with the first one, push-pull. But you don't even have to do the pull part. 
push. All you've got to do is just push just a little bit. So when Cody's squeezing him, and Logan just extends his arm just a little bit, that's all the space you need. And they can't hold you there. So squeezing tight, Cody, if Logan just straightens his arm just a little bit, now he has room to go. And you're going to run into that. Guys are going to squeeze. You're going to wrestle some, and that's all they know how to do is just squeeze your head. Who's wrestled those people before? So annoying, right? Well, we got something for them. Straighten your arm just a little bit. All right, show it again. He's, Cody's trying to squeeze real hard. Straighten your arm. You got it. Same shot. Get in there and score. Okay? We're going to work this one very quickly. It doesn't take long to cover. This is more just you got to remember it. All right, because if you can't do this, all right, we've got bigger problems. Everyone can do that right there. Let's go work on it. One, two. New to you. You can always get a little bit better with it. So keep that in mind. Your head, you're headed on the right path. What's it going to take from there? Practice. Practice. I always tell people winning is pretty easy if you work really, really hard. Does that make sense? It's pretty easy when you work really hard. So keep working hard at these techniques. The harder you work, the easier they get. Okay? Well, what's another reaction I could get out of my opponent? Okay? I go here, what if they, what we call throat block? Yeah. You want to know what that is? They okay, block the throat. Yeah. Yep. With their hand or with their foot? <laughs> Definitely the hand. Alright? Go over top and now they're throat blocking. And it's, you don't even waste your time with trying to shoot through this because you can't do it. Alright? You can't know what you're thinking. Surely, Coach Ward, you can shoot through this guy's throat block. When I look at you and I look at him, you can definitely do it. That's what most of you are thinking, right? No, but you can. All right, this throat block, you can't get through it. It's too strong, they're choking you, you can't get through it. But there's a couple really easy things you can do. Okay, remember, I'm controlling the other side. Where do I put this in? Wrist or elbow. I've got the wrist and he's throat blocking. All I do is I drop my hand because what's holding his arm in place? What's that? What do you think's happening when I drop my arm? His arm falls. It's too easy. I just drop my hand and then reset my tie. That's it. It could not be any easier. That's the only thing holding his arm in place. And you see so many people fighting here and all they have to do is that. Just drop your hand and reset. Okay? Another way to do it, we're going to drill this next way for a little while. This is one that I like a lot. Is when they throw a block, I call it clear and club. Because I'm going to do the same thing we just did. I'm going to clear my hand, and then I'm going to club the guy. And when I club, I'm going to circle, and I'm going to hit him hard enough to make him circle. So I'm going to club this direction, and then pull on the head. Make him move his feet. So I clear, club, make them move. Clear, club, level change. Those three steps. Clear, club, level change. Okay? Find clear, club, level change. And then from the level change, you can hit any shot that you want. Somebody name a shot. Okay, low single. That would be great. So if I clear, club, you know, level change, there's my low single. There. This is a really fun game because all of them are right. So name another shot. Back tackle. Back tackle? Or you get a double from the back. Single leg. Come on. <laughs> this game's not nearly as fun as it used to be. It's right? called How a single about just leg. a double leg? Okay. Right? You clear, club, and then you hit your double leg. Clear, club, single. Clear, club, any shot from space is open there. Clear, club, post, because a lot of times they'll reach for you. So I clear, club, they reach, there's my post to my attack. The important things are you clear club and level change and that you're looking to attack. Because if you're not looking for it, you're not going to get it. So you look to attack, you level change and stay down while they're raising up. What's these two doing? Come on, Cody. He, Logan goes there, he throw blocks. Clear club, level change. Be looking for your attack. Just keep going, you guys can swap if you want. But watch when they do it. If you're not looking for your attack, you're not going to see it. So when you level change, you look for that attack. Because your opponent, almost all the time, is going to be reaching for you, or they're going to be coming up out of their stance. And when that happens, when they come up, 
and your level's still down, guess what happens? You hit them. Hit them hard with a shot. Got it. Clear club level change. Any questions over this? No? Okay, well let's go try. One, two. And now I have his. And I'll start working off two on one control there. He grabs my wrist the other way here. And then I start moving that guy. So to answer his question, I would say clear the wrist. Because you can clear it. So if I grab your wrist here, how are you gonna clear it? There it is. Woo! Any other questions over this position? I've got a question. What do you think it is? Who's going to come show the technique we learned? Who's our volunteer? Who's going to come show it? Come on. Who got it? All right, He's come got on it. Yeah! Clear. Clear. I want you to clear and club and move your feet. Make him circle. Partner, I need you to square up with he really wants that ankle pick. It's a great ankle pick. Yeah, he loves it. I want to see a little bit more of this. Oh. Move on level change, okay? Drop your hand off of his head. Move on, drop your hands, be ready for them to reach, because they will. Slow it down, slow it down. Drop your hands off the head, now go! Drop your hands off the head and you're ready to go. Slow this down, okay? Above your effort here. Let's slow it down. Circle, circle, drop your hands. Stalling. Yeah, partner's going to... Stall, dog. Circle, circle, circle. There's the back tackle we were talking It does exist. That's it. Give him a hand. Great work. Appreciate the effort. That's really good stuff. Partner, you don't get off that easy. No, no. Come on out. He gets to show it too. Congratulations. All right. You know, sometimes people move really high speed and you gotta work on slowing them down and refining technique. Sometimes people go really slow and you're like, well, they just go faster. Well, which group do you think we had here? This is that pretty high speed group here. Come back up. Come on, we're gonna slow it down a little bit and we're gonna get this right. Okay? You're going again. There it is. That's it. Give him a hand. You should really think about wearing a shirt next time. <laughs> I believe you'd show up here with no shirt on. <laughs> is that a tattoo? You got a tattoo of an eye piece? Is that it? You should wear a shirt next time. Another position we're going to cover here. We're going over reactions from our opponent. Okay? This guy goes to my head. We've covered what if they squeeze, what if they throw block, now what if I call her tie and then they call her tie, which is really common. Okay, so if I call her tie, he call her tie over here. And now we're here in this position. One of my favorite shots here, we're going to go to an underhook and a throw by. You know how we talked to earlier, we talked about earlier, about a boxer, how they keep their feet, they keep that same lead leg if they're bouncing around? Well, just like a boxer, we're going to uppercut our underhook in here, which means I'm not just going to try to underhook and do this. I'm going to turn my hips. I'm going to do everything except punch the guy in the face, but I'm throwing an uppercut, okay? I'm going to uppercut my underhook. I'm turning, and I'm throwing that uppercut hard to get my underhook. So you can't exaggerate that enough when you're drilling. Pull, plant your feet, turn, and throw an uppercut. Got it. This actually happens a lot. If you miss your underhook, you snap, throw your underhook in again, you're going to get it. All right, so you're taking mental notes there. Snap, underhook. Now that I've got my underhook, I pull, make him step, now I'm going to work. Here's my footwork on my throw by. I'm going back step, front step, which means my back foot moves, and then my front foot takes a step. So I go back step, front step. And as I do that, I'm throwing that, <clears throat> I'm throwing that underhook by. Uh, just like I'm throwing a shot put. Has anyone ever done that before? Throwing a shot put? 
I'm going to throw it just like I'm throwing a shot put. I'm going to turn my palm to the outside, turn my palm away. That's really important. Some of you are probably thinking, well, what does that matter? But it matters a lot. You turn your palm away. That gives you a lot more power, turns your shoulder. You can really throw the guy by there. So, uppercut, pull, they go back step, front step, shot put. To my underhook throw by. Now notice when I went to the legs here, did I go to the ankle or to the thigh? Are you sure? Where did I go, ankle or the thigh? Hips? It's not even a choice. What do you think it is, ankle or thigh? Are you sure? I'm going to give you one more chance, are you sure? I like that guy. He's absolutely right, we're going to the thigh. Why? Because if I go to the ankle, he kicks out, I don't have anything. But if I go to the thigh and this guy kicks out, at least I can catch the ankle. At least you have something there. All right, so you attack the thigh. If they kick, you go to the ankle. You show a left leg lead? What's that? Left leg lead. Well, I show it from a left leg lead. Challenge. Oh. Uh, get a challenge <laughs> over here. Uppercut, pull, back step, front step, shot put. Do your single. So here's the footwork without a partner. It's back step, front step. That's it. Feet come together, then they move. That's it. All right? It's my only dance move. That's all I know. I do that sometimes. I was, at a, I was at a wedding a couple weeks ago, and I was on the dance floor. This is all I could do the whole time. My wife left me. She was like, I'm leaving. I was still out there just getting it too. Asking people, can I get an underhook? That's the first three times the one wanted to do it. Get it. Alright. Uppercut, pull, back step, front step. Which is great for everyone because you don't even have to go to your knees to hit this. Alright? No, so he's asking, what happens if I take this step? Does it matter if I plant that foot? Yeah. I mean, eventually this foot's going to have to hit the mat there, yeah. but you're not, you don't have to stomp your foot. Right. I don't even think about that. It's a great question. It never really crosses my mind. I... Once you get it, you can get pretty fluid with it where start to finish, it goes pretty quick. All right? Cody and Lambie, why don't you guys wait on that? All right? Hey, Cody, you guys... After drilling this a little bit, does anyone have anything that they're doing that they feel like is really important during the move that they want to share with anyone? Anything working for you that I didn't mention that other people can learn from? Mentioned it all. All right, who's going to come show it? I want to see it. Who's got it? Volunteers. Who's got it? You? Come on out. Perfect. Oh, yeah. 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 Don't worry. Your partner's as surprised as you are. <laughs> I tell every group, hey, and this is this is actually something you might remember from this session, right? I promise. This is a coach's secret. When we call for volunteers, do you know who we'll always go for? The person trying the hardest to not make eye contact with the coach out here in the middle is like almost a guarantee that you're going to get called out. The person who's looking everywhere else except out to the middle of the mat, pretty high chance you're going to get called out here. All right, let's see it. Tell us what you're going to do, and let's see you do it. Yeah, tell us. Tell everyone. No, no, tell everyone. This is, what, this is learning in action here. This is actually what learning looks like. So tell us what you're going to do. Take the underhook. Good, good. Now finish it, finish it, finish it. All right, let's see one more time. That's good. That's good. Get your footwork right. Think about that. Pull, up and cut. Get your good underhooks. Finish it, finish it, finish it. There's two. All right, give him a hand. Keep this in mind. You can have a very beautiful shot, really pretty shot. Ugly finish, and you don't get the, the finish. How many points is it? Zero. Zero. What about a really ugly, 
no good, nasty shot with a beautiful finish. What do you get? Two points. You get two points. So finish every shot, because it doesn't matter how you get to the legs. If you have the grip to finish, it's worth the same. Okay? That's two points. Partner, you get to go. You don't have to tell a skill. No, it's live. You get to learn and get better. So which leg do you leave, partner? Back step, front step, throw it by. Yes, finish, finish! Two, there it is, give him a hand! Who's next? Who's gonna go out here now? Grab their leg. Now this is really awkward because everyone's staring straight into my eyes. Trust me, you gotta really awkward now. I'm uncomfortable, I don't like it. Someone from this side of the room. Maybe? No? You wanna go out here, have you? Yeah, can't do it. Anyone over here? You wanna try it? Come on out, there it is, come on. You're just waiting for me to call. Say, hey, you want to get yes, yes, yes. I really do. Yeah. All right. Let's see it. Uppercut. Go by. Good. So as a coach, it's my job to be critical. Okay. So what I want to see is more uppercut with your uppercut. Okay. Go by. Good. Good. Now you go again. Dig that uppercut. Dig that underhook. There you go. That's it. Robot. Excellent work. Give them a hand. These aren't great, but they're not supposed to be. Remember that. The good news is that learning is hard. That's great news. You know why? Because not many people are willing to do it. Obviously, you are, you wouldn't be here. But that is great news. That progress is painful. It's the best news you could ever get. You want it to be hard. If it was easy, everyone would be at the top. Right? You don't want it to be easy. Last position we're going to cover. I've tried digging my underhook. Or maybe I just want to do something different. I go here and they collar tie. Maybe I've, I've tried my underhook. They're not giving it to me, but their arm is still there. So I'm taking control right on the tricep. Okay, we're going to go to a throw by here. There's two ways to do it. You can go from the tricep or you can go with a forearm. Here, we're going to show one off the tricep. I'm going to pull and really squeeze the neck and the arm together. I really want the neck and the arm tight. I've got to have this tight. If they've got kind of like a wet noodle neck, like Everett's doing here, I'll probably just push the guy down to his back and then make him raise my hand when we're done. All right? That's not going to happen. All right, so your partner needs to give you a little, there you go, it feels like I'm wrestling now. Squeeze the neck and the, and the tricep, put the arm together. I'm gonna pull, and then my footwork is the same as my throw by, with the difference being, instead of stepping around, I'm gonna step, I'm gonna kick my leg through his legs. Um, yeah, just straight like this, as hard as I can. All right, no, I need you to be a good partner. Okay, put your hands up. Your partner, are you ready? <laughs> we won't do that. All right, I'm not going there. I'm going through his legs here. Okay, so he collar ties. I'm squeezing the neck and the tricep, I'm squeezing these together. I pull back step, front step, pull. I go back step, front step, and I try to turn his head into his armpit as I turn my body. Here's what it will look like back step, front step. Okay, so I kick my leg up and I take my head as low as I can get it. Okay? So if you have trouble with that, especially the upper weights, I would stick with this one. Just throwing it by. Just like okay? But hey, we came to camp to learn a couple fun things, right? So we might as well learn something that looks really cool. So when I throw by, I kick this foot up and my head goes down. There. There's your takedown. And this is why you do this when the crowd be whistling for you. Don't even know what they just saw. All you know is you want to hit it again. Because it felt really good. Alright? Go ahead and kick them. Put their hands on the mat. The key here is squeezing everything. 
you can't do this with a loose grip here. You gotta squeeze everything. Look at Logan's neck. That's squeezing. Little red neck. Which a lot of you guys will be right at home. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uwa, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> we here? <laughs> What questions? No? No? This one's called the nutcracker. Can you show up, lefty? Left leg, left leg lead. What's that? Left leg lead. If you're a left leg lead, he tell you to ask that? Oh, man. Left That's leg lead, everything's lefty. the same, except to the other side. All right? Color tie. I should be here. Squeezing everything. Pull, back step, front step. That's about all you're going to get out of my left, <laughs> left leg here. That's about it. You can do it. Are you a left leg lead? You're natural. Like a fish in water, man. You got that. It'll be easy. Any other questions over this? Who here has worked this before? Perfect. What a great opportunity to learn again. Have you done this? We'll have you teach it next time. All right? Yeah. Let's go try it. One, two.